Hey guys, so today we'll be making a gorgeous Christmas bow. What you will need, I have the large badabra, a lot of bow wire because I like to keep it long so that I'm able to tie it to whatever I'd like. The ribbon is so gorgeous. It's four and a half inches in width and I have three pieces that I have cut that are 35 inches in length and then I have one piece that is 60 inches in length and scissors. That's all you're going to need. So let's get started. First thing you're going to do is fold your bow wire in half and place it down in the center of your bodabra. And you're going to take your long 60 inch piece, fold it in half to find the center. And with the right side facing up, use your crease. We're going to fold it in half and bring the front and the back up and scrunch it down in the center, just like that. Now you don't have to make this tail as long as I made mine, but I just thought this would look so cute and adorable. You could definitely make it shorter. You can add more tails, no tails. It's completely up to you. And then we are going to add our loops. So you just take a piece, scrunch the end, place it down, make a nice loop, scrunch the other end, and place it down. And let's scrunch it a little bit. Uh, find the center, scrunch it, and place that down. Use your wand. That will help you move it and adjust it as needed. And to take the next piece, scrunch it. And as we add more ribbon, it's going to get harder and harder to scrunch it. But just be careful and try your best. And find your center. Scrunch that as well. And again, with your wand in place, you're able to adjust your bow as much as you'd like. So you could definitely stop with four loops, but I'm gonna add one more set. So I'm going to finish up with six loops. And this looks really good on top of a Christmas tree as well, especially if the tails are really long. That will look really cute on the Christmas tree or hanging from the stairs or fireplace, anything like that. Scrunch, scrunch, scrunch. As you can see, it's getting pretty full. I'm going to go ahead and scrunch this last piece before I remove my wand. And put it right back in place. And so I placed the last one in the center. So the first one is at the top, the second one is at the bottom, and the last one I placed is right along the center. Scrunch it, it is so thick, oh my goodness. You're going to take the open ends and place them through the loop. I'm gonna hold this in place so that it doesn't move and tie it really tight. And I'm just going to tie it a couple of times just to make sure it's nice and secure. And don't forget, we are going to leave the bow wire long so that we're able to tie it to different things. And then come back to the front and just maneuver it. Make sure everything looks really good. You can flare it out a little bit. It's looking so cute already. Last thing, we're just going to take another piece of the ribbon. It doesn't matter to the length. And we're just going to tie it in a knot. You can leave the ribbon smooth if you choose to do so. And I'm trying to... Keep the knot where only the right side of the ribbon shows. I don't want the wrong side to show. Just like that. And you can glue this in the center or you can just place it in the center and tie it at the back. I think I'm just going to tie it. Come around to the back and be mindful of your bow wire. You want to make sure you still have it out on either side so that you're able to tie it to whatever you like. And tie it in a knot. Just like that. You can glue that if you'd like, but it's so thick that I feel like the knot is actually a little bit more secure in my opinion. And also with the material that it is, you can just cut away the excess. But I don't like to cut too much. I mean, this isn't going to be visible, so that's fine. Here's the bow wire so that I can still tie it. So we turn it over. Again, we'll flare it out 
one more time. Looks so cute and adorable and it is huge. So this comes up to be about 15 or 16 inches in width. Again, modify it as much as you'd like. You can have the tails longer or shorter. I just thought that having it long was cute. You can keep the ends square or you can ribbon cut them. Finishing touch, we're going to ribbon cut the ends. So fold it in half, the fold at the top, the open ends at the bottom and just cut at a diagonal, just like that. Do the same with this side. Just like that, so it's so cute and adorable. Oh my gosh, guys, this is so precious. And it is huge. So simple and easy to make, and it's very versatile. You can add more tails, fewer tails, more loops. Just have fun with it. And then don't forget about the back where you can tie it to anything. So I want you guys to see how how long it is. So this is a finished product. This bow is huge, you guys. It's so cute. And then this is how long I have the, the tails. So precious. You can make several of these and decorate the entire house. It's so cute. Possibilities are endless. Just have fun and make it your own.